I did want to ask you about your last frame of the movie. And I mean, I don't even know where to start with asking about that. So much is on your shoulders in that moment. How do you even prepare for something like that? What kind of conversations do you have to have with Chaka in order to just feel supported in a moment like that? Well, we, we, I think instinctively, spiritually, we all knew that, that this was, this was taxing on the soul. It wasn't something that was just, oh, we're actors, we're just going to do. We all, I think even going around the table from the very beginning with the, with the, with the Hampton family, it's like, like, uh, we got to know everybody's heart and everybody's truths from the very beginning, why we each wanted to do it. So we knew it was bigger than just us wanting to act. So now if we knew that we were giving our souls to this, if, if I know that Daniel's giving his soul to this and he knows that I'm giving my soul to this, how do we show up for each other in that way? How do we lend ourselves in the best way possible to each other? And I think, you know, in the cast, we, you know, we went bowling, we went roller skating, we found moments to really share time and space with each other. I remember there was one day where we weren't even on set. It was Daniel, myself and Lakeith, and um, I believe like Ian and Caleb, we were all not filming that day, but Algie was on set, Shaka, everybody else. And we was like, um, I think Lakeith or Daniel was like, you wanna go to set? So we drove to set. And I remember Shaka kind of got emotional about that because actors don't do that. We're, there's so much. We could be resting, we could be preparing for the next day, but we just always gravitated and was around each other. And I think that's like the spirit of, of Chairman Fred and his Black Panther Party that he was able to create in the Illinois chapter, right? And so um, we definitely held space for each other. The day before, we actually filmed on the 50th anniversary of the assassination of Fred Hampton. And so that, and of Chairman Fred. And, um, and that, was, that was something in itself. It was, we didn't even have to have words. It was spiritual, you know? Um, it was actually the day that O'Neill actually does his Judas-like thing, gesture, was the day that we filmed that actual scene. So that was definitely intense. And then the, the night before, I remember being in my hotel room and like, I was so emotional and I didn't understand why my, my body uh, was reacting the way that it was. It was in knots. My heart was pounding so I had, my throat was tight. I felt like I wanted to cry and I didn't know why. And I kept saying, then he's gonna be okay. Then he's gonna be okay. Like. And I realized that my body did not know how to separate. And um, which is a, is a big, it's a small price to pay, pay in order to, to give your all to a role, which is what I asked for from the very beginning. How do I get to the point where I could love somebody so much that the sacrificial justice she does in the end is believable? How do I get to that point? Just opening my spirit. How do I love in that way? Watching Danny take up space, watching Danny have dimples, like watching how he moves. And I'm really internalizing every single thing. So by the end, we were coming to the end of the film. We were coming to the end of the life of Chairman Fred and the end of the love that him and Deborah Johnson got to share together. And so I had to lose it too. You know, and even though Daniel and I and my cast and I will love each other for, for the rest of our lives and beyond, like we we were only we were only fortunate to get a little bit of a little bit of time inhabiting that kind of love. Cause that love is transformative. That love is uncon unconditional at the core. You know, the true definition of unconditional love was there. And, uh, you know, and so to get a little taste, to be able to experience that, I had to love and then lose. And so I had to let myself cry in that, um, in that hotel room the day before. And it was very quiet that other day. And, you know, having to be on top of him while everything was happening, that was also intense because we had the bullets. We had the, you know, and seeing the bloody, the other room and seeing my friends, my castmates, my family now, uh, be shot up like you know what I mean like that is it's traumatic you know and and I had um I had actually in my personal life had seen something like that happen you know so the sound of gunshots is not foreign to me it's somewhere deep in my psyche and my in my spirit and so to be there and hear those things was actually traumatic again like it was so many levels and I remember Mama Kua just saying she did not cry she did not cry. When they assassinated him in cold blood, she did not cry. And I think underneath that was, was the power of like, I'm not gonna give them satisfaction. She said that they were laughing. They were carrying his body out and chanting, Chairman, Chairman Fred is dead. 
Chairman Fred is dead. So they were happy and they were singing about that. So for her, no, I am not gonna cry. I will not give them the satisfaction. That was very important. And then also, I mean, even for me, I had to wrap my head around getting off of him. You know, how, if he, 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 he's been drugged, he's still alive, but he cannot wake up. Do I move my body off of his? If I don't move my body off of his, they're going to kill me. And essentially they're going to kill his baby. If chairman is all about the people, is the party about me or is it about the people? Then I know it's about the people and that includes his son. So that was the only way that I could wrap my head around getting off of his body is because he would have said, this is about the people and his people includes his son. I have to surrender. I have to live so that his legacy can live so that this being inside can live, you know? And uh, yeah, so that it was it was a lot. It was a lot going on. Oh, 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 oh,